Going to university, entering your 20s, can be an exciting time of self-discovery. It's where most of our coming-of-age stories begin to take shape. Nikita Krelart was on that path, and soon her world closed in around her, and the smallest of tasks became effortful challenges. In everyday life, I have to think about everything what I do, like this or that, because I will be very tired, so very difficult. Hi, I'm Nikita, I'm 24 years old and I have Parkinson's. I was diagnosed at 20 years old. I was on a ski holiday with my mother in Austria and the first day of my ski lesson I had uh, like a tremor in my hand. But at first I thought it was a nerve because of my first ski lesson. And then, uh, since the uh, holiday, my uh, symptoms uh, were getting worse. I had trouble with um, tying up my buttons, muscle stiffness in my legs, so I went to the doctor. And at first I was diagnosed with Escherichia tremor, and then I got like uh, medicines for that. So then I uh, went to the neurologist, and then I started very early with uh, Levodopa. That was like a life-changing moment because uh, all my tremors were gone. So that was like, yeah, this is Parkinson's. Diagnosed at 20 years old, Nikita is an extremely rare case of young onset Parkinson's. The gut-wrenching news of her diagnosis stunned her family and friends. They were also shocked, like, how could that be at uh, that age? And I went home and I thought, let me just uh, go for a walk or just uh, go biking a, a, a lot of uh, kilometers. If you are uh, 20, like me, when I was diagnosed, you're in a really active uh, life with a lot of things, but also uh, growing um, as a person. I'm currently not uh, working anymore because um, of the Parkinson's. I had like uh, many uh, friends and I went to school and did a lot of uh, sports. I really love to uh, dance and uh, hockey. Recognizing her especially rare case, Nikita turned to educate others through advocacy. When it was a World Parkinson's Day, in the Netherlands, uh, the Parkinson's uh, TV asked uh, everyone to make a, a little short movie of uh, themselves and just tell something about themselves. And that was the first thing I did. And uh, after that, um, I became very active with uh, Make Parkinson's More Public. At this moment, I'm uh, working in my uh, own house and uh, painting uh, the walls and uh, stuff to uh, make it my own home. I have to take uh, Levodopa four times a day. In total, I have like 14 pills now, so that's a lot. But I'm very happy that they are here and I, uh, I'm able to uh, take them so I can um, do my things that I have to do throughout the day. I live uh, day by day. I see uh, every day like, oh, these are my opportunities. And if it uh, works out for me today, that's really fine. But Parkinson's just change in a second. So that's very difficult to uh, look at the future, but I just have hope and uh, think every day is a new day. So that gives me energy to just uh, look at the future positive. Just go easy on yourself and take your time with discovering uh, everything. If it is really Parkinson's, then uh, search uh, things about it and uh, learn from other people and uh, ask them about their experience. Go easy on yourself because it will be a hard time for you. So. Uh, just take it day by day. It's difficult not to be touched by the story of Nikita. She is aged 24. She received the diagnosis at age 20. It's important to realize that Parkinson's is not a disease of elderly people. She was 20 years of age and at that age, and we know this from published work, misdiagnoses are common and her story is a good example of that. A diagnosis of Parkinson's at such a young age interferes with your future, with your perspectives. And what Nikita is describing so wonderfully is how she still needs to grow as a person. You are not ready as a 21-year-old. 
I'm not saying that a 60 or a 70 year old is ready, but if you're 20, you still need to develop and mature as a person. And now you've got this diagnosis of Parkinson's and that interferes with your perspectives, your hopes, your future. And at the same time, Nikita gives all of us a very powerful message. Go easy on yourself and maintain hope. Live day by day and through hope, keep working on your development as an individual and in shaping your own future. And to my mind, I think Nikita is wholly inspirational um, and should provide that type of hope and perspective for all of us.